Hey everyone, welcome to introduction to deep learning for fall 2025. I'm Ruthwick and today I will go through the VCP setup. For this, I'm, I have created this set of slides which will be available from course websites. The first thing you need to do is enter the Google Cloud website. You can go by accessing cloud console.cloud.google.com and if you can see $300 credit available that's good you can go ahead with that else you will need to create a new google account and for that you will get you will then be able to access this offer you have to create this new account and then you will be asked to enter some payment method uh, but don't worry unless you go over 300 dollars of usage you won't be charged and yes. Once you do that, you will be asked to activate your full account. This is very simple. Just click on activate. Then you have to check your credits available. So let me open my page. So once you are here, you can just click console. And so here I can see that I have already utilized two fifty four dollars out of 300. Let's see, you can access it from here as well. So for my remaining value is around $45. Now let's check the amount of compute available. So for that, we will go in all quotas and check the value for compute engine API. All right, so I, I can see that I have a value value of five, and this is sufficient for now. Next, we can go. Yeah, so if you don't have the quota value of this, you can always ask for more. So that will be just to click here and then click on edit. And you can add new value. It won't be auto updated automatically it will be sent to the google administrators and within a few hours it should be updated to the new value i would recommend taking a new value of one or five because that is very easy to get the new quota so once you get it you can go to compute instance Okay, here you can create a new instance. And before that, it's better to set up all our things locally. So you need to create a SSH folder. So I have these commands for the Linux. You can create, open your terminal. Here you can create the SSH folder. Since I already have it, I will just CD into that. Then you will need to create a private key. So that command will be SSH key generator. And this, this will create something like, or you can see IDL GCP RSA dot PUB. And you can open this file So this is the public key and we need to save this public key on our Google Cloud. So you can do that by going to SSH keys. So I will need to add a key here. Remember to remove the last, this is the device name. Also the last part you will remove, including the address. 
and you can add a space between that okay so save all right we have that now now we can create an instance okay so let's go ahead with creating an instance okay so choose a return appropriately so right now i'm uh, lost in groups so i will be available and for the machine i will take a gpu for now a t4 gpu is sufficient here in the machine type let's go for high memory and for cpu this will be enough in most cases so depending upon your homework type you can get much better gpu types such as v100 or even Tesla P100. So each of them is available in different regions. So you can check them at this website. Yeah. So here you will be able to see at what zone which machines are usually available. And you need to try it or looking into different zones of it. So a little bit of maneuvering will be required here but yeah it, it, it's not too difficult it's in in the system and storage i would recommend changing the image to minus linux 11 because there are some issues with linux 12 and for the size 100 gb should be sufficient Okay. Yep. So let's go and create. So sometimes there might be an issue with creating the instance, like it will fail. But don't worry, you can try again. Maybe change your location, change the region, and yeah. Usually with that, it it is able to work. okay so we have the instance working now now let's go and connect to this instance okay so since we have our instance running let's connect to it so open your favorite code editor and go to extensions and search for remote ssh yep so just install this or extension and after that you can click on this blue button click on connect to host here add new ssh host for this i will yeah so this is the host name so just copy this and Click on configure SSH host, open your config file. Let's copy the external IP, open VS code, go into your SSH host. Let's change your host name and do point your identity file to the private RSA key that we have it uh, in our SSH folder. Once that is done, we'll be able to connect. Okay. So yeah, 
here we just open a default report and okay so these are the default files we get but let us create an s setup setup file so that's easier for us okay now we have uh, i will be sharing this collab notebook as well here we have two scripts one is for the C cpu setup and another is for gpu setup the cpu setup is really easy and it takes very few minutes and the gpu setup it is you have to install all the gpu drivers and that takes much more time and highly suggested that uh, don't use gcp for using a gpu because we have fully compute available from psc and that is much better than a t4 instance so i will go ahead with using the cpu script let's paste it as you can see you can add your username and like toggle key but since like hopefully you won't be using this for submitting your Kaggle work and yeah so you can keep it empty as well it doesn't matter but let us make that executable and for that let's copy this the instance it's okay so now let's run the setup script this this is really easy and it it won't take much time the GPU script is much bigger and you need to install the GPU drivers so that the actual T4 GPU gets recognized by the code. Let's also create a Python file for testing. Okay, we have this code. Okay. Let's wait for a few seconds. We'll complete the installation in a few minutes. All right, we are done with that. 
तो कैन चेक तो Nvidia command is not found because the, we haven't installed the Nvidia drivers here because we are just using the CPU. But Python is installed and we can test the file now. Yep. So the GPU is not available since we ran the CPU script, but we can use PyTorch and yeah, you can create and do like fast preparations here and then uh, go to PSC and then start your training. All right, let's go back. So another very important thing is to delete these instances after you have created them. Like once you're once you're done using them, because these are very expensive. And yeah, if you do forget it, it's there. Google doesn't send a notification, but you can create your own notifications here yeah but it's highly recommended to delete an instance once you stop working on it and just wait here until you see that the instance gets deleted So you can see an error shown on the VS code because you cannot connect to the instance anymore. That means it's been deleted. Even if you click on the reload window, it won't be able to connect. Yeah, it is having issues with connecting. So yeah, we can close this. Feel fresh, we won't be seeing the instance anymore. Yeah, and that's how you know that the instance is deleted. Another thing for safety you can do is turn off your billing. Go to your billing account and then you just disable the billing. So next time once you open, open your Google Cloud account, you enter here and you enable the billing again. Okay, apart from that, don't have anything else to mention. Let's see, if there's anything here. All right, I think that's it. Good luck.